about it. So, now that we have the powered up version of Marl's Pendant, now is a really good time for us to do a lot of backtracking. A lot of backtracking. We're going to be doing side stuff for a while now, guys. Quite a while. All right. It's time to... First, go to 600 AD. So we won't be able to get every single chest in every single door in the game right now, but we will be able to get a lot of them. And our goal here is to not only get them, but to get the good stuff TM out of them. Tech ice toss. I didn't read what the first dual tech was. I was mashing. Twin charm. That's what I wanted. So this has a much higher chance of stealing when you have Marl and Ayla in the same team, which can help against like uh, boss tier enemies that are hard to take care of. I dum 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 dum. Bum dum 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 dum. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, um. In Guardia Forest, there is the one. The one chased. Not here? Okay. Further up. Dead end ahead. Speed tab. I'll take a free shelter, sir. Thank you. All right, so that's that's a chest that can't be upgraded because it's just a speed tab, which I say just a speed tab, but considering the only way to increase speed is with speed tabs or accessories, it's a really good item. Uh, the, this village should have an upgradable item in the Elder's House, right? Right, 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 right. Maybe it's the next town over. Could be the next town over. I'm gonna check all the residences and stuff just to be sure though. Aya ya ya ya. It's aya ya time. Aya ya ya. Also, you notice Ayla hasn't left the party. It's because she has charm. Oh, the desert side quest is available. Oh, boy. That would kill me right now, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure it would. Pretty darn sure this would kill me. I should hold on and uh, do this later. So, yeah, uh, inside this little desert whirlpool is death. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to do that. <laughs> that's a fucking, that's a scary side quest. Okay, is it, is it, it's, it's gotta be this elder house, right? Yes, I'm. Something inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the object. No. 
Something inside is reacting to the pattern. Remove the object? No. All right. You have to do that. I don't know why you have to do that first, but you have to do that. Also, there is a thing in the ma ma magic cave, I remember. See, we had the, uh, there was a chest in here. Magic ring! It's a freaking good ring, by the way. Let me just show it off real quick with Marl. The magic scarf. The magic ring is plus six magic. That's quite a bit. Really good for a spellcaster, like Luca, for example. Uh, the sunken desert is death right now. That's all you need to know about it, is it will kill. Kind of wish there was a slightly more convenient teleportal than Truce Canyon, but oh well. Doesn't take too long. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Hey, look, we got a chest here in Giardia. A power ring! Can't, uh, can't go through there, so we got the power ring. It's so bad. So much like the magic ring, the power ring is a, is a big power boost, plus six. All right, um, we need to go to poor village. Not the protodome. Not Medina, uh, no. No, yes, Lien Square should let me go there, I think. Yes. Hey, look, it's the bell that the bellmaker was making. Dude, the time shenanigans in this game are really cool. I've always liked them. Oh yeah, hey. Luca, let's say hi to your dad real quick. Sup, Tobin? Hey, Luca. I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. Well, you can see more of her once we've married and have kids, and then you can see your grandkids too. I mean, what, huh? Notice this place is a big desert still? We'll, uh, we'll fix that eventually. And here we are. Black Vests power up into the Black Mail. White Vests power up into the White Mail. Now, what do these do? Hold on to your butts. 
absorbs lightning, absorbs shadow. Not only does it negate the damage from them, but absorbs them and heals you. And look how much defense. Look at that. Look at that defense. 147. Mmm. Mmm. So yes, this is one of the main really neat features of Chrono Trigger is the ability to mess with time and change things. Hey, remember this mayor and how everyone said he was greedy? Share and share alike, help the needy. Thinking about making that the town motto. I love my daddy, instead of I hate my daddy. The person I like most, my dad of course, instead of the person I hate most. I wish my husband were a little less generous. And of course... Everyone thinks Dad's generous. Does that mean they think he's cool? Who knows? So when we first came here, this guy was a, was a big tightwad and everyone hated him. Now everyone loves him. Because we went back in time and gave jerky away for free. Free jerky! Ah, da, do, do, da, dee, da. Boat. Nothing like a ferry ride. I take the ferry every chance I get. One way ticket is 10G. Sure. We haven't rode the ferry before, so let's do it. Ooh, ooh. Look at it go, it's zooming. Chrono speed, hi hi. So fast. Sometimes a mysterious whirlpool appears in the ocean near here. What could cause that? Okay. Uh, back to the end square. And we're going back to 600 AD. And now when we go back We can actually go grab the original version of those items because they're still in the past. But they won't be upgraded. That being said, they're still going to be very, very solid armors. I remember doing the time warp. Drinking those moments when... Yes, I know that song. Dum 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 dee 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 Now we go back to the Elder's House, and the boxes are still here, and we get the original items when we open them. A white vest, and a black vest. Now if I can pair them, look. Less armor, only absorbs 50% of the element instead of fully negating it, which are still solid. That's still good. Like, Ruby cuts fire by 
So white vest and the black vest are just on tier with the ruby vest, but for a different element. Again, still very, very good items. They're just not complete negation good, right? They're just, they're not ju they're just not quite the uh, remove all penalties good. All right. Um, I don't think Fiona has anything, does she? My husband Marco is finally home. I'm so relieved. Don't worry, I'm home for good. The monsters in the desert cave hate water, but I can't defeat them by myself. So Marco was out here in that cave trying to destroy monsters so that his waifu could plant trees. Which, holy shit, what a tough dude, because the monsters in there are horrible. And powerful. I already checked here. No, nothing here. I know there's one in Guardia Castle. I should go do that one. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is it this one? I think, I, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. The box has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have what's inside. Take the item? No. Again, for some reason you have to like infuse the boxes with your amulet energy before opening them so that they'll mature. It's really weird. I don't know I don't know why. I should have uh, I should have gone to the castle when I originally came through here. I wasn't thinking. Actually, can I even get to the castle in 1000 AD right now? Uh, oh, here it is. Something inside is reacting to the pendant. Take out? No. You're alive! Although we did sustain major casualties, we wouldn't have made it without you. We must rebuild the kingdom of Gordia. Alright, um... Is there anything else in 600 AD? Castle. In... Oh. Elder's house. I got the magic ring. Um... Got the speed tab in the forest. I think that's everything for now. I think. I think that's everything I can get to for now. So let's head back to 1000 AD and get those finely aged items like a fine wine. Let's go. If anyone ever played Chrono Trigger and didn't know about this, don't you think that this is a really cool mechanic, how you can get the original item and an upgraded version of it if you do your time stuff? Wait, Medina won't take me anywhere. I gotta go to Leanne Square. Man, they're still holding this festival. Crazy. How long does it last? It's, only, it's been several years for us by now, it feels like. 
Uh, okay. Uh, the inn, obviously. That's the market. That's the inn. Maybe they did that so they could sell strategy guides? Because who wouldn't just take those items otherwise? People who knew that there were chests in both times, because you could see them in both times, but if you take the item in the old time, then the chest in the present time will be empty. So a little bit of uh, trial and error would allow you to figure this out. But yes, it's a little obtuse. Blue vest powers up into the blue mail. Which, I, I, I bet you can't guess what that does. Bet you can't guess that it absorbs water. A hundred percent. Okay, yes, I can get to the castle. Still. Good, 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 good. King is still not here. Ugh, you'll see. You'll be put on ice. Dude, can you be any more transparently evil? All right. Level up for the red vest. Got the red mail. So now we have... The white male, the red male, the blue male, and the black male. We can absorb any element that we need to. 100%. Poggers, my doggers. Which definitely will make life easier in the future. But we're not done yet. We want to get the slightly unupgraded versions of them as well, because sometimes you need to fight like, say a water-type enemy that only uses water, well, then you can have two people really cut down on the damage that they take instead of just the one being negated. Uh, wait, while I'm here. While I'm here in 1000 AD. Uh... Um, right, 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 the whirlpool will take me to the heck cave. Can I, can I get into the whirlpool even? I recall that you can, but, huh. Let me in! Chrono, take a dip! Jump into the cave! Hey, can I get you to drive us into that whirlpool? No? Okay. Weird, I'm, I'm almost positive you can actually jump in there, but... It's not letting me, so I'll have to go the long way. Okay, okay. Um, so that's near Medina Village, so I'll have to go back there. Uh... Yeah, 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 we gotta go to Medina Village for anything else for now. In a thousand eighty. thought you could jump into that whirlpool, so I was trying to, but oh well.
Okay, uh, up here we can finally do something in the forest ruins. Your pendant! It's glowing! Behold! The engines can be a bit difficult to find, but it's above and to the right of the house. Walk around until you see the name appear, just like any other destination on the overworld. It says something like Vortex. Oh well. We'll just take the long way. The seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose whichever you feel you need and take it with you. Whew, 13,000 years was a long time. Balthazar, I shall, I shall see you shortly. All right, to the right, we will get a very strong sword for Chrono. In fact, uh, it'll make this sword look weak almost. It's by far the best sword you can possibly get for Chrono at this point in the game. But... To the left, on the other hand... The Safe Helm. Now, why would I take a helm over the sword? Because, while the sword's really good for Chrono, this cuts physical damage by one-third on top of having amazing defense. It's like the second best helmet in the entire game. <laughs> Maybe third best, it's close. So, yeah, this kind of edges out the sword. We'll get a better sword than what we can get from that chest, but uh, better than this helm is hard to come by. Which means whoever I shove it onto will be basically... Like, basically not going to take much damage when it comes to physical attacks. Oh, hey. I'm gonna give you the magic ring. There you go. Now, who should I give this nice helmet to? Chrono, perhaps? Because he's always in the party? Seems like a safe bet. Alright. Um, all that's left to do here is to head to the... Uh, the Heck Cave. The Cave of the Heck. Oh yeah, you still a bigot? Yeah, you are. So hey, notice that the uh, demon edge is better than our sword. <laughs> and we've got a good sword. First our chrono trigger is cheer no trigger. We're here to cheer trigger the ice fairies. Hey Melchior, what's going on over here, buddy? This weapon represents considerable power. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to buy something? Sure. What do you got? Still nothing. For a uh, for a humble blacksmith, you sure are actually humble. Uh, this is the SNES version. Yes. Thank you, Magnus, for answering. Uh, one way you can... Well, technically an emulator on SNES. But one way you can tell the differences between versions is... Uh, for the PC version, there's a slight difference in what the sprites look like. Along with having anime... Or PS1 version, I should say. Along with having anime cutscenes. For the PC version, there's also a slight difference in the sprites in that they look worse than the mobile version. All right, time to find these chests, wherever they are. 
My, my super special Super Nintendo, yes. My, my good friend Takahiro Nintendo sent it to me. It has the ability to make save states and stuff. Man, can you believe that Nintendo has their, uh, their little Super Nintendo games that you can play for having their online service, and it doesn't have Chrono Trigger on it? I can't play Chrono Trigger on the Switch? What a waste. Pot. My MP! You'll pay for that. I, even if you still had a SNES, the, uh, the cost of Chrono Trigger is high. It is not a, it is not a cheap game to purchase. So unless you already had a cartridge. There we go. The wall ring. And, huh? There's something else in here. What in the world? The dash ring. So let's take a quick peek at what they do. The wall ring, magic defense plus 10. The dash ring, speed plus 3. Speed plus 3 is good. By the way, if I equip that to Chrono, he is only one speed off of the maximum. Now, I'll say this. Super Mario RPG is great. It's very, very fun. I, I do enjoy that game quite a lot. It's one of the first RPGs I ever uh, had, like, 100 percent in and everything. But... <sighs> Chrono Trigger is better. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything that I can get right now from... 600 AD and 1000 AD. Ah, I see. I just wasn't on the right spot for the vortex pit. I thought it was further to the right. That's my bad. So, the only thing to do now is go to 2300 AD and open the, uh, the future doors. And future chests. To the Banger Dome. That's the Proto Dome. There we go, the Banger Dome. Now we can bang. Look, it even puts us right next to the door. Perfect. The pendant begins to glow. A charm top. A full ether. And a wallet. Hell yeah, a wallet. So, uh, let's go over those. First off, the charm top is a specifically Ayla thing. It makes charm more successful. Which turns it to like, like a 75% chance to charm, which is really good, if not more. So might even equip this. Uh, oh. And the other one, 
the wallet will turn experience into money. So instead of getting XP, you get money. This is more of a like hyper late game item, which by that time you won't need money anyway. So, or alternatively, <laughs> you can use it as a challenge item so you don't level up anymore. Down here to these guys' dome, the Tran Dome. Got any cash? No. So there are people in Eris Dome too. What's this? A plant. What's that? You light up my life. No, really. Never seen anything like this. Finally, got through the ruins. I brought the sapling that sprang from the seed. Amazing what you can do when you think you're gonna die. This edible? Look, they've got a plant, a little sapling. He did it, chat, he did it. They planted the seed in the Aristome and they even got it all the way here to show that there is life to be had. Still hungry. All right into this door. And here we have a full ether, a gold stud, and a magic tab. All right, hey, you know how the silver stud cuts MP usage in half? The gold stud cuts it by 75%. <laughs> What's that? You want to be able to cast spells all the time? Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's just head through the ruins to the next place through Lab 16. It's not like anything in Lab 16 can do much to me at this point. Luca learned how to protect. She attack, she protect, but most importantly, she send you to heck. It's free spell real estate, that's true. In fact, I'll show it off right now. Chrono, how much does Lightning 2 cost for you with that? Two mana? Yes, please. Yeah, Chrono's gonna mash out Lightning 2 on our way through here if we uh, have to face anything. Any groups of enemies, that is. I love items like that in RPGs. Like the one in Tales of Symphonia, all healing spells cost one while standing on a save point. Infinite health, you say? To the Aristone! They also have some door to open. Door to open. Oh wait, where am I going? It's down here. Oh god, I have to do this thing. Hold on. Oh, wait. It's already out. Never mind. I don't have to do that. Thor dumb. Thor very dumb.
buggies. Uh, hey, you know what? Let's let's charm. What do these guys want to give us? Kiss, kiss. Mwah. Just a status heal. Nothing important. Didn't think so. Begins to glow. What's up, Marth? How are you? A power tab. A looming robe. An elixir. A hit ring. And a gold earring. Alright. Let me just show off the hit ring real quick. And the gold earring. Hit ring gives you hit plus 10. So, I want to point out something that I haven't really talked about before. The girls, Luca and Marl, do not use the power stat. Their power stat is entirely cosmetic and does absolutely nothing. Instead, they use the hit stat because they're using ranged weapons, and that's what determines their physical damage. So, the hit ring is only usable on Luca or Marl and helps increase their damage. And by quite a bit, look at that, it almost, it gets close to doubling the amount of the uh, hit. It, one third more. And the gold rear earring is 50% more max HP, which is a lot, helps push people into very high health where, uh, where applicable. <clears throat> and we also just got the Lumin Rose which is high defense with some nice magic defense plus. That being said, the red male, blue male, etc., etc., are overall better. Honestly, we gotta replace the, the Taban vest. It was nice to have, but uh, we can throw that onto Luca even. What are my tabs looking like right now? I got five power tabs. Hold on, let me organize. Five power tabs, eight magic tabs, and three speed tabs. Quite a few tabs. Might want to use a couple of these. Here, Chrono, have some magic. You're going to be spellcasting quite a bit. So, uh, power tabs, completely useless on Luca and Marl, so... Uh, I could give it to Ayla, but she's gonna be fine. <laughs> like I said before, um... Speed tabs are the real important ones, because it's the only stat that doesn't increase upon level up. It helps get you... It, it helps allow you to get slower characters like Luca and Robo, for example up to speed with faster characters like Ayla and Chrono. I am going to give Chrono one speed tab here. I want him at similar speed with Ayla. Not sure who I'm going to give the other speed tabs to. Possibly Luca? We'll see. Um, there's not a lot of speed tabs left in the game, if I remember correctly. <laughs> As for power tabs... Here, Ayla, become stronger. You too, Chrono. Ayla hit like truck. Um, and that's all of the, uh, the stuff here, that's for sure. Boom, 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 boom,
Strong lady. Ayla is very strong lady. All right. Now I think that's all the stuff I can get for the time being. Pretty sure at least. Um. All right, I should talk to the people here real quick before I leave, because they should have some new dialogue. After all, they planted a plant. Hey, it's those people again. Daddy's on a trip, but I haven't given up. This child and this seed are still growing. I wonder what kind of fruit this is going to bear. Hey, fellas, look, the seed sprouted. Hey, seed sprouting. Since you've come, we've gained the courage to live. We can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. The door with the crest, dynamite won't budge it. Alright, went there. Got money? I have money. Here you go, child. Have this... Have this pittance. Enjoy your money. Also, shout outs to the dude that ran from one dome to another holding a plant and got past all the monsters. When you were a kid, you gave all your power to Ayla because she did physical moves the most, and then you were like, Chrono, why your melee so bad? I wonder how that could happen. Okay, let's see. Ooh, lightning. Now, what to do next? Honestly, honestly, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. First ban that guy. Uh, oh no, a tonic. We're going to the sunken desert, everyone. Now, trying to complete it would kill us, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of grinding in. Uh, for a couple of things, because it should be, like, the best place for us to grind now. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to do it. Maybe. If we can do it, then that's really good for us. Odds are, though, uh... Odds are we will not be able to do it, and, uh... It'll instead be very, 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 very... Very, 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 very dangerous. Alright, to 600 AD we go.
Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to talk to Gaspar again real quick. See if he's got anything to say about what's going on. I think he's just gonna... Keep talking about... Yeah, okay. Yep, something to transport through time. All right, all right. Wow. 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 Watching you do and find all the things you miss makes you want to reset the run. Hey, it's okay. It's not like you need those items for it, and you can always do New Game Plus if you want to go back and get the items in the future. Along with other endings. Alright, into the sunken desert we go. 